I got involved with Mirador by, uh, by invitation from uh, two scholars since I spoke Spanish, where they were exploring the swamps surrounding Mirador. And while we were there, they put me in charge of the architecture because of the massive scale of the buildings there. And I discovered the antiquity of the city was on those big buildings. The problem was that at the time that I was doing this, the pre-classic were hunters and gatherers. So you can imagine the dilemma if some, somebody were to call Gordon Willie at Harvard and say there's some student named Hansen who says that uh, there were huge pre-classic cities with 72 meter high pyramids. He just said, that guy is full of crap and hung up. So it took me 20 years to convince my colleagues that this was real, the data was real, that there were massive pre-classic cities centuries before the time of Christ, a thousand years earlier than this stuff. And these guys were sophisticated, they were complex, and they told a story of humanity that we've never seen before. The saga is there's, a, there's the origins of complexity, the dynamics of complexity, and the collapse of complexity. And that's the whole, the whole gamut. We, we, know, we can't see our origins. We can only live in the present. We can't see our future. But in, for the lens of archaeology, you can see the whole gamut. You can see the beginnings, the things they did that or originate their social, so, uh, economic, and, and political sophistication. You can see the dynamics of their society that maintain that, and you can see what took them to hell. And when you look at all those factors, you say, oh my gosh, it's humanity. And then you start looking at our own, our own government, and you say, hmm, we're doing some things right, and we're doing some things very, very, very wrong. Because we can see that through that lens, through that window, of archaeology that we don't have any other means to detect that.